Guys, refinancing is a very powerful tool to pull up your equity and bring your mortgage existing interest rate down. And if utilized properly, you can create your family wealth by pulling equity from the property where you live at very favorable terms. Mostly I find that people refinance their mortgages either to pay off their debts, put some renovations into the property, pay off their student loans. And again, a lot of investors we work with, they refinance just to pull up the equity and buy another investment property for their real estate portfolio. So first thing guys you have to consider is as a consumer, you do have options. So if you are with a you know, certain lender, existing lender right now, so when you go for refinance, you don't have to stick to the same lender. You can hire a knowledgeable, experienced mortgage broker who can look for other options and shop the best rate and terms for you. Second thing you have to understand is when you apply for a refinance mortgage, it is just like brand new mortgage application. So the lender will again ask you for your credit. They'll hit again look for your job information, income, your debt ratios. So be very mindful when you apply for refinance, you still have to jump through all the hoops to pull up equity from your property. Third thing you have to consider is in Canada, banks or lenders, they give you up to 80% of your appraised value. Meaning, for example, your house is worth $1 million. When you apply for refinance, they can only go up to 80% of that, meaning up to 800,000. So if you have an underlying mortgage, existing mortgage of half a million, so your equity would be 300,000 that you can utilize. So that is something you have to consider, you know, whatever purpose you want to pull the money, this is how much money you can get from your house, primary residence. Fourth thing you have to consider is when you refinance folks, you have to start all over again. Meaning, let's say you buy a property, stayed in the property for seven years. Now you're thinking of refinancing. So when you get approved for refinance, your 25 years start all over again. So let's say your initial term is 25 years. You took seven years to pay it off. When you refinance, again, you have to start all the way to 25 years. But you can pick a phone, call a lender and say, hey, instead of 25 years, can you reduce the amortization to 20 years, 15 years, depending what is the monthly carrying cost? Last thing you have to consider, guys, which is very critical is all the expensive or you know, extra closing cost. So when you refinance, you know, I have seen uh, refining mortgage, it can cost up 1% all the way to 4% of all the extra cost involved. You will be responsible to pay appraisal fee. You will be responsible to pay lawyer fee. If you are putting your spouse or somebody extra new on the title, they have to register their name on local registry here in Ontario. And then at the same time, they have to do title search. If you're refinancing a condominium townhouse or a condominium, they need to order condo status certificate and then the lawyer has to review it. And then you probably need again, title insurance and uh, you know other uh, penalties as well, right? Sometimes you're on a fixed mortgage term and when you break that, you know, your mortgage go to another lender, there might be thousands of dollars worth of penalty. So all, all in all, uh, I think, you know, before you do these things, you should seriously consider the ramifications of all these factors before you apply for refinance and make sure you always deal with the experienced professional lawyer and a mortgage person. They can guide you and make this process easier for you. I hope you like these five tips regarding refinancing your property in Greater Toronto Area, Ontario.